Hey, I'm Ted Vera. Hope you guys are doing great. Hey, in this episode, I just kind of want to follow up on um, what we talked about in the last video. Being able to publish your own photo, your own photography books. Being able to publish your own stories, right, through services like MagCloud or Blurb, places like that, because they have made it so much more affordable and easier just to get started publishing your own books. It's very cool, man. I'm going to show you a screencast of how you can just get started from downloading the template to dragging and dropping your photos into the pages, resizing them, um, creating the cover of your book, creating text, adding text, stuff like that. Um, it just shows you how easy it is for you to get started. You know, before I show the screencast, I want to give you a couple tips on uh, how to prepare your photographs for your book. Uh, one thing you can do is maybe lower your screen brightness on your computer. It's like 50%. See if that works out better for you. Because otherwise, what might end up happening is when you get your book back, yeah, the images might be too dark, right? And you don't want that. Another thing you want to do is like when you export, say you're exporting from Lightroom or whatever software you use. Yeah, just make sure your image quality is set to 100%. Don't resize your images. You know how you usually resize for uploading to Instagram or Facebook, that kind of thing? Yeah, don't resize the image and make sure you set the resolution to 300 dpi. And that should give you pretty good results. That'll be a good place to start. Okay. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and get into the screencast here. <laughs> it's not short, man. Go ahead and take a look. If you get, start to feel like you know, you've already kind of got the concept, you can go ahead and fast forward to the end there and, and we'll catch up on the other side. Okay. Okay, first go ahead and go to magcloud.com and then go over and click on formats. This way you can scroll down and see all the formats that they have to offer. Now, all of my books I've done so far, I've done with Digest, the Digest publication. But you know what? I think for, the, uh, for most of my books, I'm going to go ahead and start using the Square publication. So click on that. And click from a, or select from a couple different sizes. I'm going to go ahead and go with the eight by eight. Now, I don't have anything to upload yet, so I'm going to go ahead and download the template. Now here it takes me down a little too far, so I'm going to scroll up, and here you can select what software you want to use, and it does give you you know a few options there. Obviously, I think InDesign would probably be the best, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've been working with Pages from Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't want the saddle stitch binding. So I want the perfect binding. So I'll go ahead and download this template. Go ahead and save it to my hard drive. And once it's downloaded, I'll go ahead and uh, open that up and go ahead and open up the zip file that I just downloaded. In that folder, you'll have two files. One are the instructions. If you want to go ahead and you know flip to that, that might be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Pages uh, template in Pages. Go ahead and give it a little bit more room here. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you scroll down here, you can, yeah, show the uh, page thumbnails. I kind of like that to be open. Now this page, this is going to be the cover of your book. This is going to be the cover of the book. And for this one, I want the uh, cover to be black. There might be a better way to do this, but what I'm okay here, you're going to probably get this message because the template that we download, it's not the most update version. So it asks you if you want to update and I just go ahead and click on, yeah, update or upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this square, this object, just drag it so it covers the whole page because I want it to be black. I want the page to be black and there probably is a better way to do this, <laughs> but I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so now we've got this big black square as the cover of my book. And what I want to do here is I want to select it, go over here and click on Arrange, and yeah, where it says Text Wrap, I want to select None. Because what will happen is if I bring text on that page or another graphic, another object, it will end up pushing this object around. I don't want to do that. So yeah, I just want to select None for Text Wrap. Now I want to go ahead and, and bring in a photograph. Got a few here just for sampling. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in. I'm going to put it on the second page because I want to go ahead and click on that and then go over to Arrange. Uh, or, yeah, I want to select None on that. 
And now I can drag it up on top of the black square. And the cool thing, man, you just drag and drop it, right? Then you can resize it to whatever you want. So there we go. I've got my little black square. I've got my little photograph. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, now I want to add some text to the page, to the uh, cover. I'll go ahead and put the title of the book on. Now, this is in black, so we can't see it. So I'm going to go over here to text color and click white. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and type the cover of the book. This isn't like if I was going to redo the version of Vegas Noir that I'm working on. Dark stuff. But no, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that on subtitle. So Vegas Noir. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, select a different font. I'm an American typewriter. And let's make this what uh, 48, I think. That would be a better size. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and give it enough room to stretch out there. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Tighten things up. And again, where it says text wrap, I'm going to select none so it doesn't get pushed around. Yeah, none. So now I want to add the uh, subtitle. So I click on for another text box. And I'll go ahead and make this white. Not a little more subtle. Okay. And just type in the subtext. Dark stuff. All right. I want to make sure this isn't going to push anything around either. So I want to go over here, text wrap. Yeah, none. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. <laughs> you guys enjoying this? All right. Okay. Clean that up a little bit. Tighten things up. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'll drag that to the end here. All right. I want to add a little bit more text. Okay. Go ahead and select white again. Move this down here. And photographer. Are you guys awake? <laughs> I'm just checking. All right, clean this up a little bit. And again, uh, text wrap, I want to select none. Drag this down to where I want it. And now I'll go ahead and put my name on the cover. Ah, drag that down. Now see what that did? It kind of messed things up, right? Because I hadn't selected none yet. Go ahead and make that white. Make that American typewriter. Go over here to arrange and yeah, there we go. Okay. Some kind of name. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, let's make this a little bigger, maybe uh, like 24 point, I think would be all right. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the box up here. All right, man. Okay, yeah, make sure it's it's none. Drag that down, and bam. Okay, hey, there's the cover of my book. Now I could do more to it. I could put more graphic editing and stuff like that, but you know, that's it. This now this is the inside cover. This next page will be the inside cover of my book. This is where I've been putting um, quotes that I kind of like these days. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy that black square, so I want this page to be black as well. Let's copy it down here, and now I've got a black background for the inside cover. I'm going to put some text in here because, yeah, I've been adding quotes to the uh, inside covers of the book. It's kind of cool. All right, taking a chance here. <laughs> Typing in the dark. All right, whoops. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that white. Now, first, we do the range thing. Yeah, there we go. Now, we'll make it uh, maybe a little more subtle. Yeah, white's too bright. Okay. Yeah, now I can type right after this one as well. And let's go ahead and give it a little bit more room. So, we'll make the font a little bit bigger. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add to where I want it. Okay, I'm going to add one more piece of text here. I want to give the uh, credit to what credit's due. Let's go ahead and make that white. Dr. Seuss. Yeah, one of my favorite authors. Okay. Make it italics. Arrange, make sure that the, uh, yeah, select none there. Okay, I kind of tighten this box up. Drag this to where I want it. Cool. There's my inside of my cover. Now, this next page, uh, here, here you might want to put, you know, your title information again, uh, your name, your copyright information, any kind of contact information you want to include. And then you move on to the next page, and then you can start, you know, adding your photographs. I mean, you can do whatever you want to now, right? Just give you, give you some examples here. Go ahead and drag another photo in here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go to the 
Okay, hey man, thanks for bearing with me. This just kind of gives you a good idea of how fast it is to be able to put things together and actually, you know, just get started at least. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey man, was that like watching paint dry <laughs> or what? I'm just hoping that kind of gave you a peek into how easy this is to just get started, right? Download the template. I didn't, have to, I didn't have to create an account with MacCloud. I've got one, but I didn't log in or anything. So you don't even have to create an account. You can just start downloading templates and playing around with them. Yeah, download your template. Export your files, right? Just get started. Get started today. Get started tonight. Just get started. Now, I was using uh, Pages for Mac, right? If you use one of the other programs, I imagine there could be some, um, some differences. I imagine Word would be fairly similar. I don't know how Photoshop would work, but I'm sure there's probably plenty of videos out there on that. Yeah. InDesign is an amazing uh, publication layout program. It's got a little steeper learning curve, though, but if you've already got InDesign chops, yeah, man, I would go with that. But the main thing is, is just get started. And don't feel like it has to be perfect. And if you feel like, you know, you don't really have design chops or layout skills, look at other people's books. What do you like about them? You know, what kind of things would you like to see in your book? Uh, you know, the cool thing is, is you just need to experiment. Like when I first did the uh, first version, the first test book for ghosts, I just put together, you know, 24 pages. That's the minimum you have to have for, uh, to get the perfect binding. So I just put uh, 24 pages together. I did it really quickly and I just, yeah, I uploaded it to, to uh, MagCloud ordered a copy because for me I have to hold it in my hand it's cool to look at on the screen even in PDF form that's cool but for me it's a lot easier if I can hold a copy of it in my hand plus I just wanted to see what the quality is going to be like what the print quality is going to be like what the cover felt like if I even really liked it well I do I like it a lot I like it more than I even expected to yeah if I can like download or order a copy get it in the mail it's cool man you're excited right you get the book, and now I can hold it. I can feel what it feels like to see it as a book. And now I can flip through the pages. How does that make me feel? What kind of feeling am I getting off the book, off the pages, as I look through it? That's an easy way for me to decide. <clears throat> pardon me. That's an easy way for me to decide what I want to do for the next uh, test book. Right? What do I want to add? What kind of text do I want to add? Do I want to write more? Do I want to write less? Do I want to write... Uh, add any graphic design, that kind of stuff. Play around with it and don't think you need to get it perfect for the first upload. Yeah, experiment. Try different things. Just get started. Upload your first uh, version, uh, order a copy, see what it looks like, man, and, uh, and then do the next one. Yeah, refine it. Try different things. Maybe try out different things with the layout. Try different fonts. Fonts can make a huge difference. Yeah, this is very cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here because this is long enough, right? Yeah, this is a longer video. Sorry about that. But I hope it helped. Uh, most of all, I, I just hope it helped motivate you just to get started. Because it is fun. It is cool. You're going to love your book. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. I'm Ted Vera, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Thanks.